Oh yeah, and we're back at it with another lesson. And today's video was broken down into three parts. Part number one, we're gonna analyze the bigger picture. We're gonna look at the higher time frames first, as always. Part number two, we're gonna be focused on pattern recognition on our trading time frame. Another great example of the risk pause play. And part number three, we're gonna be talking about my trailing method, the expectation I had and why it failed. So let's get started. Here we go starting off with the 15 minute chart and i want to take a moment to acknowledge and notice the clear space jpm has off the open here is the first bar of the day looking to the left there's absolutely nothing in the way apart from the gap this is a great example of where some of the best trades emerge from where there's nothing to contest against your position but just because we're clear on the 15 minute chart does not mean ignore or neglect an even higher time frame. We need to do the work and find the next troublesome area, if there is one, of course. So since we couldn't spot any resistance on the 15, let's move on to the daily. On this chart, I'm able to locate the nearest potential area of resistance around hole number 137, demonstrated by this black horizontal line. However, this raises no immediate concern as we're a buck 30 away. Alrighty then. Now that we've covered the higher time frame analysis, the bigger picture, let's drill down on our pattern recognition on our trading time frame. And for this trade, my focus off the open was on the two minute chart. So let's begin. Here we have our first two minute bar off the open. To me, this is a nothing bar. It's wide in its trading range, nor the bears or the bulls are in clear control. It's a battle in which we do not have to guess or anticipate the winner. Just wait for clear indication when there is one and act accordingly. And if we remain patient, our winner was revealed on the second bar. A beautiful igniting bar that clears high of day. And to top it all off, it closes at the absolute high, demonstrating complete control by the buyers. Now, with this bar at this location, we have item number one to our risk pause play pattern. Next is a narrow range bar pause on the upper one third percent of our igniting move. This pause has great significance as it reveals to us our risk and our trigger. In fact, let me take the next few seconds to break down exactly what I mean by risk. So my current risk unit is $100. That means every trade I take, if it doesn't work and my stop is hit, I will be losing slightly under $100. JPM here, for example, my stop is at $135.49, two pennies under my risk pause bar. And my trigger entry is at $135.72. So how do I find out exactly how many shares to take? Simple math, we subtract 135.72 minus 135.49, my entry price and my stop price, and we get 23 cents. With a 23 cent risk, I can take 400 shares, which will bring my stop loss to $92, slightly under the 100 mark. And that is how risk is calculated. Next. Let's move on to the final piece of our pattern, our trigger bar, because without it, there is no trade. And what we want to see is a clearing of the top of our pause bar. If that happens, we enter the trade with our predetermined share size according to our risk unit. With that, we complete the second part of our video, pattern recognition in our trading time frame. Next, we're going to be talking about trade management, how I mediate risk, take profits, and trail. So let's continue. Here we go. Now that we have the completion of the pattern and we are in the trade, let's protect ourselves. Second, according to my plan, once I get at one to one, I eliminate risk. At this point of the trade, my mind is extremely active, wanting me to go to break even earlier, but I have to stick to plan and wait for one to one to get hit. And sometimes I refer to something that LV says, what am I doing? That's nothing. I'm using my original stop. That game's not worth protecting. 
And believe it or not, drilling that in my mind has helped tremendously. But back to the trade. Let's go. From this point on, I have a free trade. Third, my trading plan states I have the right to take profits at two to one, a double. Fourth and final step of the trade, I trailed the remaining shares. And here is what I did. I want to begin by pointing out this big bar right here on the two minute chart and this big bar on the five minute chart. Next, notice the hole number 136. With this combination, I decided to adjust my stop from break even to under the big bars and hole number. With the expectation, I would be able to survive an orderly pullback like this, staying above my adjusted price, of course, add back to my position and look to take more profits near the highs. However, that is not what happened. I got this instead. One violent bar searing through my big bars and hole number. Now, before I sign off, in hindsight, everything is 2020. So if we color this whole move up, break it into thirds and orderly pull back to the 50% zone is healthy and should be expected. So if my plan was to survive the pullback, my stop was just too tight. However, important to know, I will never allow a winning position to go into negative territory on a pullback. And most importantly, this is not orderly. This is violence. And a pullback that starts like that, mm, I just don't want to fight it. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you again for your time and attention. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to share with other traders. My goal here is to grow this channel with nothing but high quality content and answer any questions if you shall have one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you on the next one.